Joining me today is Mark DeLisi, Senior Director of Corporate Responsibility with Avalon Bay Communities. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. Happy to be here. Now, I'd like to start by talking about renewable energy. What are Avalon Bay's plans for expanding its solar power capabilities? Well, we, uh, they're relatively new uh, in the last year, but as solar uh, prices have gone down and it's become a much uh, more appealing sort of value proposition to the company, we're looking at expanding it uh, as much as we possibly can across the portfolio. We, we operate primarily in East and West Coast. Uh, so the markets that we operate in are um, great markets for solar. Um, the sun shines a lot in California, that's one reason that's a great market, but also just the incentives um, are excellent right now. The federal tax credit, obviously as a REIT, we'd have to work on ways to take that, either take a partner or, or you know, use a taxable REIT subsidiary. But we, we really, in looking at it, said, hey, there's a real opportunity here. And the time is now. So uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan is to look at it across. So I've got a strategy to evaluate the entire portfolio, narrow that down to a set of uh, targets, and then, and then really take a deep dive into those. Uh, you know, as you know, with solar, I mean, it may look good thousand foot level but as soon as you climb on that roof and look at where you're gonna put it and, and some of the economics of it will weed out the ones that are not as as accretive as others but then we we think we have a significant opportunity there and as your title reflects the concept of sustainability has become a much broader area than just maximizing energy efficiency can you talk about what the concept of corporate responsibility means at Avalon Bay yeah so it started as sustainability it was primarily uh, a group of volunteers who were doing this in addition to their day jobs um, and it was f it was fundamentally a green effort although the company's always had a spirit of caring value which we you know uh, that was kind of the philanthropy component of it um, when they created my position and I came on board we kind of combined those two together and what we're really looking at is environmental social and governance moving the needle on that for the company across the board so we renamed it corporate responsibility that was intentional to kind of broaden the whole concept of it it's not just the green part but we have a whole strategy around philanthropy strategic giving, community investment, you know, investing in the communities where we build and operate, a really important component to the company strategically. Um, also a, a real important component around talent attraction and development. I mean, it's a very talent, uh, tight talent market right now, so you know, if there's ways that we can move the needle on culture, we think that's a real strategic differentiator for us. And what do you think the future holds in this regard? Well, it's hard to say at this moment uh, in time, but I think in general, you know, what you're seeing, uh, especially, you know, with a company like Avalon Bay is more strategic integration, right? The, and, and I've always approached it this way. I think the more you can take sustainability, corporate responsibility, and some of the components of that and tie it directly into the business, make it a component and a piece of how you operate as a business, the better. And I think you're just gonna see more and more of that. And frankly, you know, when you look at it, the, the numbers play themselves out, right? I mean, we're, t we're taking cost out of our utilities and our operations. That's uh, good for the company, and ultimately it's good for the planet. And lastly, can you talk about one project or initiative that best exemplifies what you're trying to accomplish in this area at Avalon Bay? One of the things I'm most excited about is we are, um, and it may seem simple, but we're installing smart meters in every high rise in New York City that it makes sense to. It's the majority, vast majority of them. And we're really engaging our on-site residential services folks who operate the buildings day in, day out with the New York demand management programs. So as the smart meters get installed, we see some immediate benefits to that in terms of rates, rate structures, et cetera. But what it really enables us to do is get an EKG on the buildings in terms of how they're operating real time and then engage, and this is, this is primarily a culture change you know, training initiative in at its heart, our on-site folks to manage those buildings more efficiently. And we're doing it at scale within the New York City market, and then we're gonna expand that uh, to the other markets. Great, Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Sure, happy to do it. For more from NAREIT's 2017 Leader in the Light Working Forum, be sure to visit REIT.com.